right. I'm gonna be putting in drone rod down in this deep channel. Set up with a multi-lock from Hags and uh, Kale Beaver Extreme from Kendall. These KOs is the first time we got the set one, so this is a really good time. Let's see how they work. I've heard nothing but good things. You can hear it. Click into place. Set flat, ready to go. standard caster mount drowning set here. Make a little shelf for the big old trap that's going in there. Get set in here. But it won't go nowhere. Make sure there's nothing in the way of the drowning chain. That way when the beaver gets in there, he doesn't get bound up on anything and be able to pull the toe off. Goes all the way down to the bottom of that drowner. Can't come back up. On the end of that drowner, there's a welded washer that's on there that uh, keeps that multi-lock from going past it. And the end of that drowner rig that drowning rod is stuck right into the bottom of the mud. So when the beaver gets down there, he won't be able to come back up. This channel is actually pretty deep. It's good for it. I think we're going to use a little Andy Weiser's beaver glandler here. Need to make a little mound. A little bit. We got a really good stump here. That's going to keep that beaver from coming this way. We want to block it off. We want to be careful not to use any green wood. That's not green, but anything they would eat, they will eat. Anything dead something they're not even going to imagine eating. So when you use that to block it off, you know, it actually keeps them coming right up where that trap's at. Got that beaver coming down through here. Down in there. Fresh chew over here on this other down tree. A lot of these willows were taken down by beaver many years back. This last spring, somebody came in and put in a new pipeline right across this area. And they had to dam this up, cut out all that, all the timber that was right here in the spot, bring in that pipe, and then they back the way it was so the beaver moved out for half the year due to the water level change and now up on down this where the other two ponds and the spillways meet in there's a lot of fresh beaver damage trees maybe five six inches 
there, that's probably about eight inches. Not too big. We're not taking anything too big out. But with this blocked off the way it is, a little bit of this caster on both sides of it, it'll have them in here. This blocking keeps it from coming over the back side and around the sides. They're going to come up right where that back side is. Put their scent here. Generally, you'll have a beaver within a night or two. First night catch on beaver is not uncommon when you're on location. Don't be shy with your lure. Use a lot of it. We're not coyote trapping, so a lot of people over lure a lot of stuff. That out a bit. That's a beaver over here. Anytime you're running for cut, I always want to make sure everything's cutting right. Free. Then I'm going to have some rocks in there. Step on the lever. Spook them. Yeah, well, actually, it's been time to get up here and play around. what the beaver set looks like. After it's all said and done, I kind of got this in the way, but caster mound, fresh mud, caster on it, beaver trap in the water. You generally want to have your traps in five inches, five to seven inches, back foot. Less than five inches for front foot. Either way, I don't think those KOs are going to let go. We'll see how it works out. Cameraman today. Taking vids. Dominion Predator Control out.